first films of Baker Day, the underwater explosion of the fifth atomic bomb. Grouped in the target area of the lagoon are 75 ships and 12 lesser craft. In the center of the 30 square mile area, the bomb will be detonated. Aboard the LSM-60, the bomb carrying vessel, last minute preparations. The yoke flag is hoisted, signal for evacuation. Now scientists have completed their work of setting the complex electrical circuits. The group is headed by Dr. Marshall Holloway, leader of the Los Alamos laboratory who will explode the bomb. Previously from the LSM, a caisson carrying the bomb was lowered by super winches. It is probably some 40 feet below. Aboard the Los Alamos firing ship, the laboratory vessel, the work of months nears its climax. One of the last steps is completed as circuits are locked, the transmitter switch set. Five radio control circuits will set off the blast in this prelude to push button warfare. With Dr. Ernest Titterton, his technical advisor, Dr. Holloway takes over at the panel of the controls that will flash the impulse to detonate the explosion. The bomb and instruments are set into action. Throughout the entire area, nerves are stretched to the breaking point. Cameras are grinding. Titterton calls out the time signals. Just one half minute to go. Holloway presses the button that in just 30 seconds will produce the explosion. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. tower of water from five to ten million tons of water in two and a half minutes it rose an entire mile in the sky below is a deadly bank of radioactive cloud and steam some two thousand feet in height observation ships could not go in for many hours water is checked for radioactivity geiger counters rattle wildly the area is loaded with death dealing gamma neutron and other lethal rays and there is no complete protection against this terrifying invisible killer Aboard the McKinley, Admiral Blandy approaches the target ships. Two days after the blast, the area was still heavily contaminated. At first, there seemed to be little damage, but succeeding days told a different story. The test indicates all ships within 500 yards of an underwater blast would be seriously damaged. The Independent, still scarred from the July 1st atomic blast, is listing. Some seven hours after the explosion, the famed aircraft carrier, the Saratoga, goes down. In her battle cruiser hull, the ship had maximum watertight integrity. Eleven vessels in all went to the bottom. These films were made by Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and newsreel cameramen. Now, another camera angle. wall of radioactive steam sweeps over the target fleet. Any personnel aboard would surely have met death. The terrible atomic death that one year ago swept down on Hiroshima. Hiroshima. 